Today I'd like to talk about representations and warranties in a real estate context. So first of all, what is a representation and warranty? A representation is a statement by a buyer or seller about something specific. It is a representation that they, they are going to promise to do something, that something is true, that they're promising, they're representing that there's a state of the property or state of the situation or themselves that is accurate. A warranty is a contractual promise, so it's a contractual obligation, and we see representations and warranties that are inside a real estate contract. They're a guarantee to, from one party to the other that something is as they are promising to be. If they, someone has misspoken about a representation and warranty, then it can lead to damages because it is, in essence, a breach of the contract. In a real estate context, it's very, very, very important that all representations and warranties are put in writing in the contract. The contract itself, not separate emails or in the listing or in text between the realtors or anything like that. It is really important that they're all documented in the contract. Why is that? Because the contract is very specific that the contract contains all the terms between the parties, including all the representations and warranties. So for example, if you're buying a home in winter and the roof is covered in snow and the sellers say, oh yeah, don't worry, we promise that it's like a, a roof that was built in the last six months and not something that's 30 years old, well then that's great and it's great that they're promising and it's great they put it in the listing and it's great that they put it in you know, an email or text message or a voicemail or you recorded it. However, again, none of that counts. If it's important to you as a buyer, you need to make sure that that representation and warranty is, is inserted into the contract so it becomes legally binding on them. There are any number of things can, that can be represented and warranted in a real estate contract. In fact, the, the basic contract has a lot of representations and warranties made by the seller to the buyer. Things like the location of structures on the property, that they're not encroaching somewhere. Things like there's no breach of a restrictive covenant that prevents you from doing something on the property. Things like that there's no uh, missing permits and that you are able to sell the property, that you're a Canadian resident for tax purposes. There's a bunch in there, but anything that is important to a buyer, they should also add to that as long as the parties agree. Ultimately, all contracts are negotiated between a buyer and a seller for in the real estate uh, context, and they have the ability to, to decide what is included and what's not included. Again, if any of the representations and warranties are, are not actually accurate, then the buyer or the person, if, if a representation uh, is missed, then the person who's hurt by it can then seek damages from the other party by suing them in court. And again, it becomes a breach of contract because they've made a representation or warranty that was not accurate and you had damages because of it. If you have questions about it, talk to a real estate lawyer who'll be able to help you and your realtor draft something to make sure that you're protected whenever you enter into these kinds of transactions.